it's kind of hard to know what to do when people have lost so much. And, and so everybody did. You know, they pondered and prayed about it. Uh, we came together in a meeting on an early Sunday morning. And I did just started going up. And everybody had some really good ideas. Quite honestly, I don't remember what all those other ideas were. It's, the idea came up that uh, music is such an important part of so many of our lives. It makes such a difference to us. And it's how we are relaxed, we're inspired, uplifted and stuff by music. And we felt like a lot of people probably had lost their instruments and other things that, that bring the joy of music. It started in December time frame of 2018. And, here we are in April. This is, it's, it's been, to me, just a very rewarding thing to see how it all came together. And so many good people that want to do something, and not even knowing how, how could they help. And this gave them something to do, something to focus on, a way to, to reach out and help our, our friends and neighbors. When we first knew that we were working on this project and we needed to gather instruments, I, I remembered that I have a, a little guitar. It was a, the first guitar that our son played. And I went and got it and pulled it out of the box and, I, and we had just learned about Paradise. And this is the guitar that we pulled out of the box. And it just touched me to, to see that and it just kind of reconfirmed that, yes, this is what we're supposed to do. It's a 91-year-old woman, and she called us and said, I'd like to donate my piano. She was really excited about it. And she told about her life with music and how important it was to her. And she wrote a letter and sent it with the piano that she donated, and it said, Dearest Piano, thank you for the years of music and love you've given to me. And I can't play you anymore because of my arthritic hands. But I want to, you to take that love and share it with another family who needs you now. Oh, well, we, uh, as you know, we spent a, a year and a half here uh, as missionaries on the Deseret Farm. And, and while here, we just fell in love with the people. Uh, we, we discovered the people on the farm, in the church, downtown, everybody's really friendly and, and mm -hmm. kind. And so I think that we could in some way give back to those people it meant a lot. And I, it's been our feeling that we, we want to serve. And uh, this has been a great way to serve, but to people we love. Thank you.